actually think that SK's team composition is more destiny from being powerful. Cyanide is moved up to the top lane, they've jumped on Kevin. It's gone in, but Herculebody's there to try and defend him off. Kevin's second very low, he goes down, first blood's there, but straight away so has drops as well. And the two jumps. In the mid lane, Ocelot. Ocelot's getting dumped on the Arcane Barrage, will it be enough? No, it's not. Pancake too risky. Oh, Destiny's oh. been channeled and he's gone in. He's gone straight in, but he's gone straight into a power fist and a grab. He does manage to get towards Yellow Stars. A lot of damage there. The flash comes out from Candy Panda. Will it be enough? Yes, it will. Ocelot picks up the full vision on it. We do see those. Ocelot's been stunned. Ocelot's getting dumped down again. The Arcane Barrage coming out from Peke. They're going to try and focus him though. Candy Panda immediately. Arcane shifts towards him. He's landing a lot of damage there. And ready to go in the hook out. You see Herkimar jumping in, but Cyanide goes full on aggression. Tries to turn it back around. Can he get back in? They're all very low. Candy Panda does pick up the kill. I'm trying to escape from this one crescendo used is that simply going to be used to back away twitch has used his ultimate as well spray and pray on towards candy panda cyanide jumps in towards him not a great deal of damage but look at ocelot and peke and raid is going to come and try and sort this one out now they realize how much they're in trouble are they going to try and get interrupted yes they oh, do just get the stun card that's going to be the wild card going down as well while this is all happening candy panda has been taken down but that's going to be a double kill for ocelot cyanide can chase here he's going to have the speed difference and he's walking through a ward he's not red buff. Bangs in. the red buff will he be taken gets the stun card down but in comes yellow star one one more shot does it and even after he got hooked there's a fight in top so as going in and slicing mail from he's got 2v1 he may actually get on towards kevin but it's not matter lots of position of blue buff destiny's been channeled they want so as he's going in for it but he's gonna have to flash if he really wants it he does flash he just gets the stun card down kevin comes in puts that room prison down slicing mail is gonna come out is it gonna be enough for so as one more hit should do it no he missed the last shuriken get away from this one the repel comes out from Zion. one shot comes out is it gonna be enough the arcane barrage can they land him towards peck ocelot they do get the stun down Pekka instead chooses to try and clear the wave to try and get those minions up to try and safety. Gets the stun on towards Ocelot. Cyanide's going to come in. They're trying their best to tank out that damage from the turret. Ocelot's got no mana. Now he's got the blue card out. Throws it out. Pekka's in trouble now. He gets caught out. Uses the flash cleanse, but Herkimot saves the death. After the use of that destiny, Ocelot is going to get stunned here by Soas and hooked. Going in, gets hooked, gets straight dumped on the arcane barrage. This time does manage to land and find its hook. Dragon, etc. So mm -hmm. that'll play into their favor. Kevin really wants to fight Soas. Room prison goes down. Herkimot going to collapse on towards him, pulls that war down, he's going to get the three talent strike, is he though, he gets stunned up, it, will it be enough, he's going to have the tower dives, Kevin got caught out this time, flashes in, honestly the tower could go down at a swift breeze, and Herky <laughs> available, but look, coming down the river, it's going to be Herkibon, ready and waiting to get involved in this one, the flash hook comes in and immediately launches on towards Peke, Ocelot's going to join the fray, he throws out that stun card, lands it, Herkibon picks up the kill, the younger rise will get for his late game goes, and he's just being free to roam around, do what he likes, and he's just going to maybe jump on towards Kevin, yes they will, the slow comes down, you can see the damage is putting down on towards Cyanide though, but the spray and pray should be enough, honestly he would have absolutely wrecked, Shadows goes out, once this gold card's prime they might go in, but Dragon's been picked up already, Dragon's been gone down, Ocelot though is going to try and catch on towards him, you see Herkibot, he went in, that's going to be Kevin catching on towards running raids and taking very low, Candy Panda will finish him off, but you see there's just not enough damage coming, Cyanide's out of position and well Ocelot spotted him straight away, they're going to come around, Herkibot's going to take the turret down, he's got nowhere to run, goes straight in towards Herkibot, but he gets absolutely well. And let's pick oh, it. He got it. got it. Picky got it. So the Fnatic need to pick someone off before they go. And they go so as. Slicing Maelstrom comes out, but straight away he gets locked up. You see Peke from range, so he might be able to get him towards Candy Panda. He's just outranged him straight away. Ocelot does take down so as. Oh, he hasn't quite got the poke on towards Candy Panda. Everybody evacuates. Wild cards beeped off. The twin shadows will be available in a moment for Ocelot. I think he was just on cooldown. Flash from Kevin. Making sure he doesn't get in your face. Destiny's being challenged. And here comes Ocelot. Ocelot goes straight in there the crescendo comes out he uses the zonia's out that's a little too early so as also does another one you can see the hook though from n-rated are they going to be able to try and lock up towards him no real kills going down but it's going to be herkimov will be the first to drop kevin now involved and the fanatic are going to turn this one on its head they jump on there saras is not enough and cyanide manages to get on towards him candy panda low but it's taking a lot of time and candy panda might be able to snipe this true shot barrage is up in just a couple of seconds there it goes across not too early though he's going to have to get away so as might be able to catch him with the shuriken yes he does and now so as Ocelot really realizes he's in all sorts of trouble. The Baron has been taken down. He gets locked up and it's another kill. And the a little burst from Peke that was. And every time, look at that turret. It's down halfway. He's going to go for the ultimate. He does manage to get down. And that is come up. Here comes the crescendo. It's a crescendo. He corners towards Yellowstone and immediately gets melted. Herkibot's going to be the focus of target for Peke. I'm not too sure that's the right call. So as he has to use the Zonia's Zalgas, he's going to get dropped down. And there it is. The double kill comes in. And Rated also going to get focused. He gets dropped. It's a triple kill for Candy Panda. And now Ocelot's going aggressive. He's going to try and get on towards Sinai. And Peke wishes to use the Zonia's Zalgas. Finally does it, but Sinai, but Peke's not falling for it. Elias Ravery. 
showing how powerful it's not over. Can he Panda comes in? Can he get the quadra? Yes, he does. It's an unofficial one. Nevertheless, he might be able to get a penter as well. He's going to come in towards Cyanide. One more shot will do it. Scumbag catch. One straight out. Enrate is going to have to try and do something here. It's going to go down. SK Gaming get the second Baron of the game. Minions coming in. SK Gaming going to step in towards that turret. Look at that damage they put down. And They've, towards gone it. In. They've gone aggressive on towards Candy Panda. Crescendo comes straight out. So as gets that Zonia's hourglass out. But that's immediately going to get caught out. True Chopper Ross comes out. Herkimal dives in. Kevin gets up the kill. And now finally back. The rest of his teammates. Oh, the hook up. It's on Zin. It's on Jin Zhao. And he wants to go straight aggressive. Dives in there. Candy Panda gets the turret down. And now the rest of the team comes in there. Enrate is going to get focused on. He gets dropped. It's Candy Panda that picks himself up a double kill. Herkimal did go down in that whole exchange. But you can see. See. Enrate really wants to land one of those hooks. The cocoon. The cocoon on Candy Panda. It may be the time to go, but instead they turn it back around. Zonny's Zagas comes out from Soas. Is it enough? Everybody disengages. Bait straight back on towards him. Crescendo catches on towards him, but look at Peke. Peke melts us a lot where he stands and N-rated. He's going to try and get in. He needs to land a hook. It's crucial. He's got Flash available if he can to get a bit of a backdoor action on towards Fnatic. Oh, he does the take irony. down the inhibitor, and now the rest of it. That went down so, so quickly. Simply put, Fnatic cannot run the risk of Twisted Fate getting on the Nexus turret, so they have to give up another. Ready. Ocelot's gonna take the mid, inhibitor turret down. Yellowstar's picked the fight! Yellowstar's going into it. Did you spray and pray? Is it gonna be enough? No, it's not. He gets away. Oh! Flash Crescendo got away from that one. Herkibot goes in. Crescent Sweep comes across, but immediately Kevin's ultimate is doing damage as well. There's gonna be the, be the fourth Baron for SK Gaming, then the fifth Baron of the game. The rest of Fnatic are Yellowstar. chasing. Yellowstar catches on towards him. Flash comes out from Ocelot. Pulls out the AK okay, just, just how quick he comes up, but they do manage to take down the inhibitor this time they have got all the inhibitor turrets there's super minions along the top and middle lane you can see in the top lane and the mid lane but it is going to be the final inhibitor going down once again and that's going to be in league of legends action they do get it all oh, the hook just missing out Kevin the flash. flash crescendo there it is it catches four members out cyanide gets dropped down extreme explosions herkibot goes down cyanide has to back away from that one we see kevin getting dropped as well but Peke. look at Peke. he gets caught out the wild card sprung out candy panda catches that kill they're on to the final nexus turn they don't care about the kills yellow star's gonna go down to the wild card that's gonna be a shuriken coming out as well so as to if they could just finish the game it's so close to also like it's knocked up in the air he's popped the zonias minions are on the nexus niv get hooked in as well so as is gonna get taken low he's not gonna be enough he gets dropped candy panda picks up the kill they've done they it turn on towards it's it. gonna be sk gaming five finally done it and you can just see what it means to them hugs all around fantastic play what a game for sk gaming